the professor showed me an awesome convection demonstration. First, he topped off a large jar of cool water with ice water to make it ultra cold. Then he put some red food coloring into a small bottle and filled it up with hot water. Finally, he lowered the small bottle into the big jar of cold water. Check it out! An underwater volcano! The warmer red water rises above the colder, clear water. That's convection in action. The molecules in the warm water are more spread out than the molecules in the cold water. Those spaced out molecules make the warm water lighter than the denser cold water. That's why warm water rises above cold water. And guess what? Air works the same way. Convection is a key to the weather patterns on planet Earth. As air masses here on Earth are heated by the sun, they expand and rise in the atmosphere, pushing cooler air aside. Next, the air mass cools and falls back to the surface of the Earth. This repeating motion is convection. Convection is great at transferring heat in liquids and gases, but to get a solid to transfer heat, you need conduction. Conduction is the way heat moves through objects that are touching one another. Some materials can conduct heat better than others. Blistering blobs of butter. It's a bead race. Using butter for glue, Sylvie has attached beads to three different kinds of spoons. Which one will conduct the heat, melt the butter, and release the bead first? The metal ladle, the wooden spoon, or the plastic scoop? As she pours the hot water into the glass beaker, the smart money's on metal. And they're off! Metal ladle leaps to a quick lead as heat energy is transferred from the water to the spoon, melting the butter. The plastic scoop's making a lame attempt to catch up. But the wooden spoon can't even seem to get out of the starting gate. Substances like metal are called conductors because they have tightly packed atoms that transfer heat effectively. Anything that doesn't allow heat to pass through easily is an insulator. What's a good conductor? What's a good insulator? You can find clues at home. One reason many houses are built out of wood is because wood's a good insulator. In the winter, it helps keep the heat inside your house from escaping to the outside. And in the summer, it keeps the heat from getting in. Air can be a good insulator too. If you have double-paned windows, the air trapped between the two layers of glass creates another barrier between your house and the outside. Same goes for clothing. The more air trapped inside a coat, the better it'll insulate you from a wintry blast.